I just built my first PC. Not only that, I learned how to install macOS, so I officially built a Hackintosh. Let's talk about that. So I spent my whole weekend and up till now to work on a new project, and that is building my first computer. I never built a PC before, and I took this challenge to build a company computer and install hack or make a Hackintosh, install Mac OS. So that's quite a big challenge, not knowing too much about um, PCs. I never built one before. Yes, I know the parts and stuff, so I was kind of like a learning process through that, but I kind of knew, I was already familiar. But downloading Hackintosh or Mac OS and all that good stuff, I've never done that before. So that was part was intimidating. But I'm here to say that I've actually built my first PC and installed Mac OS on it, officially making a Hackintosh. So why on earth would I do this? I have a Mac computer and I like using Final Cut Pro 10 on that. However, with the company and I'm using Premiere more often, I need a beefier system to edit videos on. So actually I was gonna build this whole build for myself, but my boss actually wanted to build one for the company for me to use there. So that's my first experience is building it for that company. So all the specs are pretty much similar to the way I was going to buy mine and eventually will build my own computer like this. But anywho, um, let's get on to the build. And this is really um, crucial to choose your parts and know what different pieces you're gonna to need to in order to build your computer. So this is not a typical guide, it's just me kind of rambling on about computer stuff um, as it is my first experience. So there's a really good build called KCSJ. Um, anyways, basically he has a really good guide on building a Hackintosh with this design motherboard and these all these components together. And a fellow YouTuber, TLDR filmmaker, he built his own about off this model. So I thought, hey, I feel pretty comfortable to in order to follow this guide and have someone who's has experience with it to kind of help guide me through. So with his help partially and with extensive research and um, diving into on how that actually works, um, yeah, I was able to build it. So let's go through the parts. What it's all based around the Z390 Design Air motherboard by Gigabyte with a Cooler Master liquid cooler to cool that um, processor down, which is an Intel i9. 9900k so we went pretty heavy on the processor as if you're building a video editing machine you want to put that towards the processor we have an msi rx 580 as our graphics card um, evga supernova 650 power supply we have um, a couple of different ssds we have the intel ssd 660p as our editing drive which is two terabytes so pretty, pretty cool on that. And the Samsung 970 Evo, which is a terabyte, and that will be our boot drive. These drives are insanely fast, and I can't wait to actually test this out. And lastly, we're going through here. Uh, there's a few other parts and pieces, but it's all gonna be fit into this Corsair Carbide 275 case, which resembles a Mac, and I like it for that reason. So yeah, we got all the components and in building the PC actually was pretty fun. It's kind of like a large Lego set. However, I did run into some complications with it, not showing which cables go into what or how to connect it all. But I did manage to get it through and so far it seems to have worked pretty good. And when I turned on the computer, it actually worked. So that was all pretty surprising. Um, I just had a few issues with the RAM being in the wrong slots, but that was an easy fix. So I slot the RAM, swapped out the RAM. So once I got it booted up, the real tricky part was installing Mac OS, and you have to do a bit of trickery behind the scenes. You gotta install um, some plugins and some other apps that will kind of trick your PC in thinking it is a Mac. And I'm not familiar with stuff like this, but I decided to give it a try anyway and follow this guide and sure enough, it did help me understand what was going on and how to actually install a Mac on the computer. Now, you really have to read this guide through and you have to really follow step by step because I had to do a few times um, because I just missed a few things here and there or I just kind of 
took or kind of skipped steps, which you don't want to do, but carefully just go through each piece and just know what you're doing. And if you mess up, you know, just turn off your computer, just restart again. I had to reformat my boot drive several times in order to do so. But after that, and I followed everything through, guided carefully, I was finally able to enter the Mac OS. So right now, currently standing, everything's working great, except I could not get the Wi-Fi card to work, but I think there is a fix for that. And I think I know what the problem is. So it's kind of like all this rebooting around, and that makes a very good point of who building a Hackintosh is for. Surely enough, if you don't have the time or want to put the energy into learning it, a Hackintosh is not for you simply. It does require some time and understanding of what it's like to go through with it, but you also save a little bit of money and I think building a Hackintosh could be better for some individuals. You have a lot more upgradability with that and you get a lot better price per value. So it all depends on who you are as a video professional. Uh, it can make sense that a lot of people would just go for a Mac standard anyway, rather than going all on learning about this stuff. Because like I said, it did take quite a bit of my weekend and following this week trying to understand it for the first time. But I am happy to take this challenge and I think it's a good exercise to put yourself out there a little bit. If you haven't done something before, try something new. And even though you're going to have some frustrations with it, eventually you'll get through and you'll make it. If you are interested in seeing more about this Mac, uh, this Hackintosh, any parts or configurations with it, let me know. I am not a Hackintosh expert by any means as expressed in this video, but I think it is fun for another video professional who's interested in a Hackintosh, what that experience is like for them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.